All right, so first thing to do material in Blender. So first off, I'm gonna teach you how to create all the materials and then how to export it as OBJ and how to edit it. So just go ahead and make sure you're in texture mode with Alt Z and press N and make sure you're in GL SL mode. All right, create your new material. Add a texture. We're going to add our normal map first. Copy and paste the name. Now, the order of this matters. So if you have the normal map underneath the texture, um, that's the way you're supposed to do it. But if you have it above it, it won't affect the texture. It's like in order. So the next thing we do is go to sampling, select normal map, deselect color, and select normal. Let me go ahead and delete this lamp. All right. Next up, we want to add the texture. And next up, we can add an occlusion map. Go down to here, select color, set it to multiply. Put the values down a little bit. And there we go. That's how we do that. Set the uh, specular down a little bit. All right. <clears throat> Next up, I'm going to show you how to export it as an OBJ. Go to File with the object selected. And select wavefront selection only and right down here we want to set this to copy now what this is going to do is it's going to copy all the images directly to the exported uh, folder path then you can just pack them up but it's always got to be there so the file paths you won't have to worry about it so i'm going to go ahead and export that Hold on a sec. All right, and there we'll have our MTL and our OBJ with our textures. Go to edit the MTL, and that's where all that code will come in handy. So right here we have our first material name, and then all the information that goes with it. And then you can see here we have the code for texturing, and it renames it KD. Uh, bump will be norm, etc. You can do stuff like um, transparencies. Uh, you're going to have to edit these once in a while, though. It's a pain in the butt. So I'm going to go in and we're going to test it. Go to File, Import. So our normal worked. We, we're probably going to have to retick it though. Yeah, it messed up the order. That's where the editing comes in handy. But Blender doesn't export it correctly ever. So you're always going to have to edit it probably. And it really can't store all the information. You have to retick it depending on what engine you're in. And reset everything up. But there we go. That's how you do it. I hope that helps you. Later, man.